I have always loved the idea of homeschooling on the go. Like, wouldn't it be so dreamy to homeschool at a museum, on a hike, at the library, on the beach? But honestly, I never did it that often until now. Today, I'm gonna to show you my homeschool bag and the secret to homeschooling wherever your heart desires. I love this bag. This bag, seriously, oops, I'm too low. This is the kind of bag that's like the missing link to success is what I say. This is a bag that I found on Amazon. I'm gonna have it linked down in the description box below. It's like a bag that my mother had when she was quilting. It's sturdy and honestly, it is so helpful. It is so helpful and useful. Do you wanna see what's inside? Ooh, let's start with the whiteboard. So I have this whiteboard. I got it from Target several years ago and it is really held up. It's got this backing to it so it rests easy and acts a little bit like a desk. Really good support. I only have one. I don't want to put a bunch of these in this bag because then that would just fill up my bag. I also have a pencil box, a pencil case. This has glue, it's got whiteboard markers and erasers so I can use it with my little desk. I've got pencils, regular pencil erasers, scissors, highlighter, everything we need to do our work. This was a dollar at Walmart. I also have this pencil case and it is filled with crayons that I made from broken crayons. I don't know about you, but I always feel so guilty about broken crayons and just throwing them away because they still work, but who wants to like unroll all of them? So what I do is I actually melt all of my erasers into these blocks and then these are so great for shading, for putting on bark and our nature journaling. They've also got all these edges so it makes it easy for coloring. And I have an entire box of them and they work and they're so pretty. I love these. I also have a hammock. My kids love stringing up hammocks. I typically have two in this bag, but my husband's going on a backpacking trip, so he stole the other one. But I take a hammock every time we go out because they love stringing it between trees. It's a great way to get off the ground. It's comfortable and it's so much fun to just throw up a hammock wherever we're at. So I always keep one of these in our bag. Last thing in my bag is I have a picnic blanket. This is something that I bought several years ago. It's just something I had lying around. I didn't buy it specifically for this bag. I like it because it's got a, a backing to it that prevents the wet dew from rising up and like getting us wet. Grab a tablecloth, grab something plastic from the dollar store, just really easy anything and just stick it in your bag and then you have an easy picnic blanket to lay out and spread out. I've also seen people like put out sheets, like bed sheets, and that works really well if you have a large family because it covers a huge area. Food for thought, food for thought. And that is literally all I have in my bag. And this bag, I can also put all of my books in as well. And so when we are ready to head out, I grab my books and the rest of my bag is packed. So some other things that I like to put in this bag are hats, sunglasses, sometimes I'll put in some snacks, paper towels, plates if we're going on a picnic. This bag can carry it all. Just keep in mind some things and places that you would really like to homeschool and that way that'll give you an idea of what you actually need. When I got this bag, I was so excited and then I started putting it together and I realized, oh no, the Velcros don't match. Man! I'm handy with a needle so I can fix that, but if that is something that is intimidating to you, I've put a couple of other comparable bags. The other bags are a little more expensive, but honestly, it is worth it. It's worth having a bag that's structured and sturdy so I can pile in books and not have to worry about them flying all over the place or carrying a big heavy backpack on my back. Usually I leave it all set up and ready and when we are ready to walk out, I just grab it and go. I pop my books in and we are just out the door. The real secret here is not the bag. The real secret is that the bag is ready. So if you do not necessarily want this bag, that's okay. Just get a bag all packed and ready for you to walk out the door. You don't need this bag, girlfriend. You can use your backpack. You can use a laundry hamper. I've seen people put stuff in big old fat plastic totes and carry it around that way. The point of this video is have it ready have it prepared and set aside and so when the fancy takes you you are off you are off and ready to go honestly schooling outside is really no big deal and in this video i break it down for you really easily so i definitely recommend watching this one next